Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Matt from Team Monolith here, and uh, this is my Call of Duty gameplay on head playing headquarters on cargo. That's how I was gonna say it. Um, this is in the beginning here. It just me decide it's if I want to use the Fowler. Oh, it didn't show at all. Well, I was trying to decide if I want to use the Fowler, the DSR, and if using the DSR somewhat of the game. But I pick up most of the guns that people drop in this. I go 38 and 7, I believe. I go on a really awesome spree, and it's uh, pretty good actually. I went, I got a clutch album emblem that was pretty awesome. Now, basically, what this commentary is about is, um, really, I'm just gonna talk about my thoughts of the game so far. Um, a series I'm gonna do with Call of Duty Black Ops. Oh, montage making. Oh, ho, ho. no, I'm kidding. Um, Call of Duty series upcoming, and how I feel about the game. All right, so. Let's get to start here. Uh, this is multiplayer, obviously. I'm playing on the combat training playlist, and uh, it's not just bots. It's not what I thought it was at first. When I read the description for the playlist, it said humans versus AI bots. So I was like, okay, so this should be fun. Like, I wonder what it's going to be like. So I played it a couple times, and I noticed that it, it wasn't humans versus bots. It was mainly players versus players. And um, what it is, is it, every time someone quits, they replace that person with a bot. And I think that's pretty neat, actually, because it, it's, it seems like it's better to do that. Because then, like, if someone leaves and uh, your team's are going to do really badly until someone joins, like, if you're going to get screwed over, why not just throw a bot in there? Like, it would be easier to do something like that. Like in Halo, if someone leaves the game in Halo now that you can, then they should throw a computer in there on, like, let's say, heroic difficulty. It seems pretty fair to me, I'm not going to lie, but that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, this is the combat training playlist, and it gives you every game type, I believe. And uh, they gave me headquarters, which is pretty neat, because I was expecting new shit on this map. And uh, I don't even know who I killed there, but whatever. Yeah, but I was expecting to be really shitty on this map, and turns out that I did pretty good, and I was actually surprised. Surprised. Um, alright, so I'm playing the campaign as well. Campaign, I'm going to say, is really fun. It is not as scary as we're at war with random grenades everywhere. Um, I like you can ride a horse. Like, that was the one thing I saw in the game in the trailer. I was like, this is going to be the stupidest thing ever. You're on a horse, like it's pretty neat, but the horse is so confusing to move sometimes. Boom, got him. And I don't know, like they they could have done without a horse. Like it's the like they think it's the future, but I'm not gonna ruin it for anyone, so I'll let you guys play the campaign. But all in all, so far, not done the campaign yet, but I think it's really fun so far. It's really well done. Uh, I like it a lot better so far than Black Ops One campaign because uh, you can make your own loadouts for the uh, missions, which I think is really neat. Like going in there instead of using the pre guns, they give you so like, let's say they give you, I don't know, spaz and uh, silence pistol. You can be like, nope, screw you. I'm gonna change the spaz for like a machine gun, and my secondary can be anything basically. You can have, and then you can choose like your grenades, your uh, like concussions and stuff. You can give yourself uh, like perks and shit, and it's really neat. Like I like it personally. Oh, what else is there? Oh, the zombies. Okay. Um, I think it, right now, I love it. Zombies is really fun. It's always been fun. But I find zombies this in this game to be a little more challenging. And it's more team-based when you're playing with a team. I've only played on two of the three maps so far. Well, there's four technically, but I don't have the Nuketown Zombies until next month when it gets released. But, um, out of the two maps I played, the bus one, so I think it's called Transit, and Town... Yeah, that's the other one, Town. I think uh, Town is one of the hard, harder maps uh, by yourself. With a team, it's not bad. You can hold off one building for a while. And Transit on its own is really like, on its own is really difficult. That's just my opinion. You know? Like Other people like are, are, obviously, uh, are obviously better than me at this game and at Zombies. So like to them, they're probably sitting there just saying, Oh, well, it's pretty easy. Just you got to do this and all that stuff. But... Yeah, I don't know, that's just me, personally. Um, what else? Oh, and... Uh, what was I gonna say? I like how they mixed it between, uh, new and old weapons. So you got, like, the Barrett and stuff, and then, like, you got the newer weapons, like the DSR and, uh, the Executioner, which pisses me off. Look at this, this is where I clutched. You got 6 and one Lightning Strike and all that. Like, just all those emblems coming up. Um, so... 
basically, yeah, that's all I had to say about the Call of Duty so far. Uh, it's really good. Like, I was expecting it to be shit, and like, I didn't want to get my hopes up for this game. And I'm still not having them up for anything because we all we all remember what happened last year was we got our hopes up for Black Ops. Was it last year? No, it was two years ago. Hopes up for Black Ops One, and we're all like. Oh my God! The sniping—it—it—it's it, it, COD Four. It's—it's it's COD Four. Everything about this game is COD Four. They're using the COD Four engine and COD Four this and COD Four that, and we all ended up hating it. And don't say, "Oh, I love Black Ops." Like uh, after going back to it, like no, you—you you know inside you hate it. Uh, if you guys noticed there, my emblem, I made a Yoshi. It took 45 minutes, and that brings me to my next thing, actually. Uh, I will be doing a, um, what's it called? Oh, yeah, an emblem series, where I just make guides on how to make emblems. I'm not an artist, so don't be thinking I'm going to make, like, the Godfather, or, uh, actually, I might make the Godfather now. Uh, but don't be expecting me to make, like, detailed Ike from Fire Emblem, or, like, Rob from... Smash Bros. Brawl or the Nintendo accessory. I wanted to make, uh, this is just me, I really want to make an angry video game nerd, just like Emblem, because I think it'd be funny as fuck, but uh, I think it'd also be really hard to do, so it's going to take some time to figure out how I'm going to do this, but in due time, we'll see where I get with it. But yeah, that's basically my uh, upcoming things. I, I want to be, I want to start to play Halo again, because in two weeks there is a Halo tournament, and I really hope that Tyler... And Sean aren't working that day because I don't want to go there alone. And it'll be fun, I think. It's not far from here. It's like 30 minutes away. Depending on how many people join, you can win up to $300. And hope, providing that Zach doesn't play, which I don't think he is, I have a good chance of winning. And that's my phone. Someone's calling me. I'm not going to answer it right away because it's just Sean. So, actually, you know what? Let's answer it. Hi, Sean. Sean, I'm doing a uh, commentary right now. Do you want to say hi to everyone? No, thank you. Well, too late. You're on speakerphone. Okay, hi, everybody. There you go. There's uh, Sean, everyone. One sec, yeah, Sean. Can you call me back? Uh, yeah, I can. Awesome. Thank you. Three minutes. Okay, no problem. Awesome. <laughs> Bye. Anyways, that was Sean, you guys. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be getting back into Halo because I want to do some more Halo videos. Uh, I loved Halo 4, but in my opinion, basically, Halo 4 is still better than Black Ops because Halo is more of a team-based game, whereas Call of Duty, everyone wants to just do their own thing, it seems like. Except for, like, objective games, games like this, but, but uh, other ones like uh, Domination, like, everyone just wants to do their own thing. They either want to kill, they either want to do the objective, whatever, it's their choice. But yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I want to get back into Halo, and... There's been a lack of videos on Team Monolith, I've noticed as well. And I know that you subscribers have noticed it as well, because it's usually me or Vince that's posting. But Trevor and James have a broken computer computers right now, and uh, they're getting them fixed. They should be back anytime soon. Brandon, a new guy, he has uploaded a mid AP mid Terra. Oh, wait, watch this. I'm Grizz, 360, uh, somewhat scoping, quad, not really. But Brandon, he AP mid Tarek. Who does that? Okay, that's like me going in there and saying, "Let me mid." Uh, Garen, like I'm a mid Garen, AP Garen. Figure it out. Nah, I'm kidding. But yeah, there's a lot of videos, and hopefully everyone will start posting again. There should be a podcast coming again coming up soon. Uh, I'm not sure what the topic on this podcast is going to be, but I think it's going to be really fun. Tomahawk got him. And, uh, basically, there's nothing else to really talk about. Like, got about two minutes left, and I don't want to just sit here rambling, so I'm going to end it here. You guys can watch the rest of the video, and uh, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, share, do whatever you want. I don't care. But, subscribe to Team All if you want to see more Call of Duty, Halo, Gear... Not Gears of League, League of Legends, and Pokemon random stuff, and I died here. But yeah, just have fun, have a good day, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. So I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.
headquarters located. Friendly lightning strike inbound. We have succeeded in our mission. 